I'm going to tell you about one genius concept that landed me two major things in my life. Number one, my husband. Number two, lots of paid bylines. Okay, are you ready? This is what it is. I was in my 20s and I was dating and I was frustrated and wondering, hey, am I ever going to find anyone? Uh, I read this book called How to Get a Date Worth Keeping. And the book encouraged me to think about dating as fun and without expectation. It said, get to know people just for the fact that they're nice people. Don't expect that you're going to marry them. Don't expect that it's going to work out. Don't expect anything. Just have fun. Get to know people as people and say yes a lot. Say yes as much as you can. And so I took that concept and I stopped being so serious about dating and I started going out with lots of people. Now, this was an online dating thing, so that's how I was getting all these dates. I wasn't just being asked, you know, randomly at the coffee shop. That strategy worked for me. I met my husband on one of those, you know, lighthearted yes dates, and now I've been married over 10 years. And so when I started writing uh, freelance and I wanted to start getting those byline bylines, I looked back to that exact same strategy and I thought, I'm taking this too seriously. I am working way too hard to land the perfect byline to make sure everything is great before I submit a pitch, uh, to make sure my, my idea is in tip top shape. And, uh, and I'm not doing it very often because I'm over worrying about the details. I, I make, I'm so obsessed with making sure it's perfect because I so much want this to work out that I'm sending barely any pitches. So I decided to take that concept from dating and apply it to my writing. And I started to submit pitches everywhere. Um, places that were small, places that were big. I took ideas that I wasn't even sure if they had legs and I started putting them to pitches and sending them. And because I wasn't obsessed with it, because I wasn't expecting a yes, I wasn't, you know, betting everything on this one one pitch, I ended up started getting acceptance. I started seeing yeses. I started seeing ideas that had legs. And even if they didn't, I would get feedback or I would tailor them or I would be able to perfect them. And I didn't have the expectation that any of these pitches or any of these publications were going to marry me, <laughs> you know? And so, um, because I stopped taking it so seriously, because I stopped being a perfectionist, uh, because I did things before I was ready, I ultimately did find success. And now, um, you know, unfortunately finding success once isn't the same as finding a husband. So you can't marry it. However, it does make you more confident and makes you better. It helps you shape your skills at pitching. Um, and you're ultimately going to see more yeses because at the end of the day, pitching is partly a numbers game. It's not just about how, um, how perfectly you do your pitch, but it's also about how many pitches you send and how much you can practice. So that is your tip of the day. Um, and we'll be talking more about that in February. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions or you're interested in getting bylines in 2024, because I am so here for you and I'm so ready to make it happen.